God of War has been out for a while now, and it's been a long time since my latest video about add-ons. So let's make another one with 10 awesome add-ons for God of War. Let's start with Constraint Solving by Alexei Bond, an add-on to calculate wave function collapse and generic constraint solving. Procedural generation is very popular, and for a good reason, it's super cool. While there are lots of tutorials on the subject, it can be a bit daunting to get your hands dirty with such algorithms. That's where this add-on comes into play. It supports both time map and flat grid map, backtracking, multi-threading, and a generic implementation of a constraint-solving algorithm. It's even capable of learning from an example of a valid map. That's pretty cool. Deformable Meshes by Clodophos is an amazing 3D add-on allowing you to bend and deform meshes using a sphere. You customize your deformer, add a deformable mesh instance, and you're ready to deform any mesh super simply. From the examples, you can see how useful it can be to animate limbs or other objects, as if something was going through them. I love seeing more cool 3D add-ons like that for Godot. Continuing with cool 3D stuff, Wigglebone by Detomone allows you to add wiggly movement to any bones of a skeleton 3D. It reacts to animated and global motion. Movement looks very natural as it's reacting to acceleration. You have a bunch of properties to set up the movement to what you like, so don't wait and make your bones wiggle. Wiggly Appendage 2D by Tamino 01 is similar to the previous add-on we've seen but for 2D this time. It has more ways of controlling the wiggliness though and can be used for longer things like tails, ropes, etc. It can handle lots of different movement types, be scaled or even flipped. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go back to 3D with Third Person Camera by Jean Cous. Let's be real, a good camera is essential for a good game, but it can be extremely painful to implement, especially a third person one. Thankfully, this add-on gives you a quick start with a camera you can rotate, put closer or further away with angle limits, etc. If you want to help me continue making these videos, you can support me on Patreon. It starts at $1 per month and you can get early access, behind the scenes, exclusive content and much more. Join me at patreon.com slash mrelliptic. I know most of you don't like UI, but thanks to Auto Layout by Don't Know, arranging your node into containers has never been easier. If you're familiar with Figma's Auto Layout feature, you'll be glad to see it arrive in Godot. It's super easy to use. Select the node you want and hit Shift A. It automatically puts your nodes into a container, and by keeping pressing A, you switch between multiple layout types. There's even a small pop-up showing you the layout type you're using. Super simple, yet very effective. Talking about things we don't like, debugging is up there. Thanks to Ponku Console by Arc2000, this will not be the case anymore. Ponku is a real-time debugging toolkit for Godot with which you can interact with your scripts and objects at runtime. One of the coolest features is the multi-window UI, allowing you to make use of this four-screen setup you are struggling to justify. Other than that, you can create a developer console, a logging window, a data controller that automatically puts all your exports variable into a neat window, an expression monitor, and much more. Because it's modular, you can even add or remove features as you see fit. Check out Panku Console, I'm sure you'll find it useful. Mirrors are pretty cool, and that's why we look at Mirror by Norodix. To be honest, they're not that hard to create, but it's always good to have simple add-ons making your life easier. This one is just a mirror you can drop into your game, with the ability to set the tint, size, visual layers, and distortion. Our Ale Agent by Ed Beeching is an add-on to bridge the gap between your game and machine learning algorithms made in Python. It supports three reinforcement learning frameworks, 2D and 3D games, and diverse AI sensors to use with your agent. This can be especially interesting for researchers, students, or developers wanting to create ML-based agents. There's even a paper to read more about this project.
And the last add-on on this list is Inventory System by ExpressoBits. Making a great inventory system can be a pain, but thanks to this add-on, you'll be able to have a clean one in seconds. You have an inventory with slots, a craft system, a hotbar, separate UI, inventory logic, and much more. This feels like a very complete tool to get you started making awesome games. And with that, we finished this list of 10 awesome add-ons for Good of 4. Share with me other add-ons you like and other topics you'd like me to cover. Don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss the next video. Bye!